technically, this is a transmission. You might have to add a little motor oil to the... I think that's actually a special moment. <coughs> Please, let this work. Here goes nothing. All right, it's version nine of the 3D printed airsoft gun and we're ditching the 3D printed bearings because 3D printed bearings. And if ninth time isn't the charm, I purchased more components. That doesn't work. We have this guy, Serp Ass. Serp Ass. Serp Ass Hobby Motors. So a big issue I've been having with these 3D printed rubber wheels is that when they spin, the centrifugal force makes them expand. So to combat that, this time I'm gonna use epoxy JB weld to secure them in place. Now I just gotta wait 24 hours. Might see another failure. It's gonna fail. Boy. All right, that looks pretty good. Imagine this BB is my hopes and dreams. I went back, sat down for a little bit, and decided that it's time to finish this project soon. I'm just getting burnt out on it. We went for beefy boy, made everything beefier, bigger, sturdier. Hopefully this one is the one. I'm not messing around this time. So I got five different variations here. All right, this is attempt 105, technically iteration 11 or 12. <laughs> It absolutely chucks the feeding tube. That's kind of a good sign, I think. Well, I guess super blue is necessary. So for some reason, the following wheel wants to go vertical, even though it's super glued into the bearing. The wheels are staying together nice. The feeding mechanism is not staying together nice. It's like that scene when you're trying to plug the holes in the boat and you only have two hands and you're trying to fix everything. Great. It seems like that our test was able to find our weakest bottleneck, which is this little thing here, which sucks because I only ordered one type of bearing, so I can't make that bigger. This is definitely a low point for sure. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so I took a break and went through my comments on a previous video. There was 125 comments, and there was one guy in the comments. Shout out to dv.dt underscore mv for the comment <clears throat> use a herringbone style gear we had one person out of 125 people recommend that and i would not have thought of that if i wouldn't have saw it in the comments so shout out to that guy that guy's smarter than everyone but yeah so i looked up what a herringbone style gear is and it's basically some shit they invented in the industrial revolution for some gear and uh, to power boats or something like that the herringbone style gear eliminates axial thrust so it has a net axial thrust of zero whatever that means i'm pretty sure that means that thing won't be breaking right there and I think that's actually a special moment I just had right now because one major goal I have for this channel and doing this type of thing is to have the community kind of solve problems like that. And this is kind of like the first 
situation where I probably wouldn't have come up with that solution if somebody hadn't mentioned it, which is really cool to think about. Version 12 with the herringbone gears. This fails. I don't know what to do. I actually have a really good feeling about these. I have a good feeling about this. <coughs> come on, come on, come on. There's a little bit of friction there. Technically, this is a transmission. You might have to add a little motor oil to the herringbone gears. <laughs> yeah, those that 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 works a lot better. I kind of just want to shoot one of these little pins through it. I sanded down the edges so this would fit. Let's see if it fits. All right, let's see if we leave this in place. Regardless of whether or not this works or not, I think we fought hard. Please let this work. So we have a problem, uh, whenever I load it, the BB just squirts out the top, so hopefully that will solve the problem and not break anything. And then plan B, I have uh, this little 3D printed bullet. Uh, I got one BB to shoot out and then it just failed completely. And I actually snapped it back into place, so I think we probably got one more good attempt before this thing completely just degrades. Alright, I'm gonna start shooting random shit out of it now. Can you use a 3D printed flywheel setup to get airsoft gun results in a smaller package than an airsoft motor? Probably not. Could you do a 3D printed hybrid between Nerf and airsoft gun thing? Bullet? Probably. It's like a hybrid 3D printed toy shooting gun. That could work. So where to go from here? I think I'm going to stop with the airsoft because that has just been kicking my ass. Maybe we pivot into like a hybrid 3D printed Nerf setup that's not actually Nerf, but it's not Airsoft either. What do you guys think? Let me know. Should I continue prototyping this project or should I move on to something else?